Then when you go out, people are gonna be staring. They be like, "Ooh, who's that? Who's she? Who's that?" You know, we need some pictures. You know, like people are gonna be thinking that you, you know, you got a chick because you're put together, and it didn't take you three hours to do it because you had a plan. Hey everyone, it's me again, MUA Black Swan, here again with another video. This time around, I wanted to do an everyday look because I get several requests on that daily, like how I do my everyday makeup. I'm just gonna put a little more pop into it because we're gonna go out tonight. If you're watching this, Happy New Year. This is gonna be past tense because this is actually New Year's Eve. So I'm gonna do my makeup, but I it's during the day, as you can see, it's light outside. And I don't want to like, I don't want to look too overdone while I'm still running my errands, you know? So I'm going to give myself an everyday but transition into evening look like a happy medium if that makes any sense. So to start off this look, I'm going to prime my face with the e.l.f. primer. If you hear any stuff going on in the background, it's because my husband and my son are outside playing basketball and they get really into it and kind of loud so yeah and then also i don't know if y'all noticed but i do have some breakouts tonight when i take off my makeup i'm gonna use my neutrogena wipes because the neutrogena wipes even though they're like really oily they do get all the makeup off like it does break down the makeup and wipes all of it off they're gonna go back and use my teeny blends green tea face scrub and I'm going to go in on my face. And then I'll probably put in like um, a, a clay mask or something after that. I don't even know. But you know the little clay mask you can get at Target that come in a little pack. I'll probably just do that. I use my foundation now. And this is the Becca Illuminating Highlight mixed with the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop. This highlight, honestly, I can put it in anything and it's going to make it's gonna make my makeup look dewy and it's gonna make it like skin and natural. It gives it a nice neutral undertone too because um, I said in my previous videos, I am a very much in between right now. But yeah, so I like to warm up. I like to, I honestly, I prefer to put it on the back of my hand. If I'm trying to make such a big mess, I'll put it on like one of those little pans that look like something you would find at the hospital and the reason why i'm not doing my eyebrows first because i'm not going to get that comment is because you don't have to do it in that order if you don't want to you can do your makeup on however or you want however order you want to as long as it suits you but for me when i do my foundation and highlight first it just goes a lot faster so i'm going to go ahead and do that also i'm going to speed through those two parts and then also, if you want like a detailed description, I'll put a link down below of the actual foundation application routine. So. Okay, so um, I have the foundation on, I have it pressed in. And um, to be honest, when I have pimples and breakouts, I just do my makeup the same way. I'm not gonna like do the most just because I have a pimple or a breakout. I, it's gonna come, it's gonna go. It's just a part of your skin's life. I mean, I'm still gonna beat my face. It's just that night I'm gonna just gonna go in on the skin routine. I'm just saying that because then people are gonna be like, oh my god, you pay makeup on, you're breaking. Yeah, I am because I'm about to go out. Like I'm not gonna stop my day because of, you know. Marie wanted to pop up on me, you know, so me and Marie just gonna kick it tonight and um, She's prominent. Yeah, she's just gonna be chill me tonight And I'm just gonna keep living my life the same way I do every day with the pimple sitting here And uh, I don't be worried about it. I don't if it's like a, a whole all over my face breakout then no, I'm not even gonna do my makeup at all if it's all over my face. But if I just have one, um, she's just gonna have to hang out and go along for the ride. Cause I ain't gonna be worried about her. She's gonna be here chilling. And then this one right here, I know I'm gonna have to put in extra work on her. And you know, like, that's why I'm gonna do the fake scrub and the mask because she's underneath the skin. So like the pores like clogged underneath the skin. 
This is my Makeup Revolutions Conceal and Define Foundation in the number F11. So, um, I, I use this for a lot of things on my face. I use it in pretty much every video. I really do like it still. I can build on it so I can make it a little more potent than this, but I'm not going to do that. I want my my foundation to look pretty pretty fleshy. Yeah, I want my foundation to look pretty fleshy. So, um that's why I like I like using it and then I'm just not going to build on it. So now the foundation is completely done and blended out, I'm going to go ahead and start my eyebrows. I put the eyebrow tutorial, the detailed eyebrow tutorial that I already did in a previous video down below just in case y'all have any questions about that. Um, and I'm going to fast forward through that part. But if you are, excuse me, if you are wondering about the materials I'm using for my eyebrows, it's the Benefits Cook Brow Eyebrow Gel, Eyebrow Color, Pomade, whatever you want to call it. It's this bottle right here in the number five and then I'm gonna use this Morphe two-sided angled brush I am using foundation to cover up my eyebrows it's the makeup revolutions conceal and define foundation Now that my eyebrows are done, I'm going to go ahead and start setting my face. Before I apply the loose setting powder, I like to make sure everything is smoothed out so I don't get any creases, cre creasing. And I'm using my Sasha Buttercup Loose Setting Powder. Okay, so now that it's all set, um, I'm going to use my Sugar Face Trophy Wife Palette for my contour. And I'm going to use this nice subtle medium brown right here. The nice natural shadow. I really like it. It's not going to be too warm. I'm debating on even putting highlight on because of this right here. And when you put highlight on something that's raised in your skin, it just makes it a little more prominent. So if you have um, wrinkles, lap lines, crow's feet, or like me, a breakout, like a, a pimple, when you put highlight on it, it's just it's just like putting a spotlight on that blemish or whatever you're trying, whatever you would like to cover up, it's gonna put a spotlight on it. So that same brown that I used for my contour. I'm gonna use it for my nose and I'm actually gonna put it on my eye. So I'm putting it into my crease like this and I'm slipping it down that way. So now it's gonna give my eye and the contour of my nose a natural curve. And then I'm just gonna keep blending it out. And as far as my eyeshadow, this is gonna be all the eyeshadow that I have. Do the same thing on this side. And put it in my crease. Just keep taking that brown. If you don't have that brown, you can always use um, your Anastasia Really Hills Brown 
bronze powder or my favorite drugstore well it's not even at the drugstore um well drugstore brown that you can use is that nyx contour palette they have a lot of browns in there you can use that or if you already have it at home the ruby kisses 3d contour powder palette any of those it's, it's gonna you can do you can do this with any of those it doesn't have to be a high end just long as the brown is the right tone for your face okay so now i'm gonna do my wing liner this is the liner that i use for all my wing looks it's the wet n wild mega liquid liner i really like it and it's super cheap To line my lips, I'm using my MAC Lip Pencil in the shade Cherry. And for lipstick, I'm using my MAC Liquid Lipstick from Sugar Face Cosmetics in the shade S9. And for a touch of highlight, I'm going to use my Sugar Face Cosmetics Illuminating Drops in the shade 7. For my inner corner, I'm just going to put a little bit of this gold in my Trophy Wife palette from Sugar Face Cosmetics. Using this black from my Take Me To Brazil palette, I'm going to dust that on to the outer corner of my eye to give it more of a cat-like look. Okay, now on to the hair. The hair is actually the hair that I have in a previous video. It's the Julia hair, the Peruvian body wave. And what I did was I just made a wig out of it. See, I got my ball cap on. Yeah, it's just a wig. I just sewed it to a stocking cap and then I made a ball cap. So that's what I did. <laughs> and um, it's my first time ever making a wig, so that was an experience. It's not the best wig, but the hair is really nice. Yeah, I need to get some edge control and then fix these edges because I'm looking like Morticia right now, okay? But before I do that, I used the Suave Professionals Moroccan Infusion pack that I got, the shampoo and conditioner. And that's what I washed the hair in. And then it gave me this really, it bounced back really, really nice. Now the curl pattern, well the wave pattern, didn't go back to the way it was when I originally got the hair, but it still was really nice hair. It felt like butter, like when I was dipping it in and out the pan to like rinse out the the last bit of residue for the conditioner i was running my fingers through it and it felt like silk so the hair is still standing up really nice it's still taking the heat really good i'll put it i'll put down in the description box the the original video so now i got my curl and iron it's set on 450 because like these curls have been crushed because like of me laying down and then the wig being like taken off and like thrown in the corner. Okay, so that's gonna be it for this video. Like I said, I'm gonna put the details to the hair down below. This 
it's definitely this is like an update I guess you can say because I did some things to her and you see how she's still holding up so this hair is a highly recommended especially if you're looking for hair to turn into a wig and because it's a new year I want to send y'all off on something positive life is what you make it life is what you make it forget about trying to conquer the world just be better than you were yesterday it doesn't have to be you know 2019 better me you know it can be tomorrow I'm gonna do better all the time for the rest of your life tomorrow you can always try to do better so you can always strive to do better baby steps baby steps and just because you're not doing as much as the next or your life isn't like the next does not mean that you're not becoming who you're supposed to be or you're not stepping toward the success that you want in your life everybody has their own season everybody travels at their own pace that's all i'm gonna say because it's kind of rambling but i love y'all guys thank you for the support y'all made 2018 turn out to be amazing for me thank you and i'll see y'all guys in the next one bye